Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jessica the Dancing Avon Lady, and today is a pseudo get ready with me plus eight new product launch. So Avon finally added another brush to their collection and I am super thrilled. That is this one here. I just snipped off the top to make it easier to open, but here it is. This is the brand spanking, oh yeah. Brand spanking new Kabuki brush. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh, it is so pretty. So a little fun fact about Kabuki brushes because you know what, I'm such a noob when it comes to brushes that um, yeah, I don't really know what half of them do and what they're supposed to do and I just use them. But I've read that, you know, with a really good quality brush, you can make, you know, makeup transformational. So <laughs> it's on my quest this year to learn a little bit more about brushes, but I say that a lot and I still haven't learned a lot about brushes. But anywho, fun fact about the Kabuki brush. This was actually, um, there's, it was created back in the day for the traditional Japanese kabuki dance drama theater where they had to make like use really heavy makeup to create these really 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 expressive looks for their storytelling and character I'm not quite sure the exact proper terminology for that but that's my interpretation of it. There's tons of information out there, guys, about the Kabuki brushes. So if you want to learn more about it, you can definitely find it by Googling Kabuki brush. I really love the background of it because I do come from a dance background. And so the way that Kabuki brushes are designed is that there's really dense bristles put together so that it has like a really even application. It is something that it is a, like a bigger brush. You want to use it for a larger area of your face and body. And so for from what I understand, you can use it, um, you know, for your face, for like, let's say for your powder. So this one here is the cashmere complexion powder. So you can use this as a finishing powder. You can use it with your loose powders. You never want to blow on your brushes. I learned you just want to tap off the excess because you blow, you're basically blowing bacteria onto your brushes. Now that you think about it, it's kind of gross. It's like sneezing on your brushes. Ew, that's just nasty, Jess. You can also use it for your blushes, such as this one here is the Colors of Love from FMG, the Glow Beads. This one here is in Queen of Hearts, and this is what I'm going to show you today. I'm going to demo it. I've had Kabuki brushes in the past. I've just never used them properly, I guess. I just kind of did it for whatever. I used it for blush, which I guess I guess I did kind of use it for the pro proper reasons because that's what I'm going to be using it for today. So you can use it for blush. You can use it for your foundation. You can use it as a for finishing powders. You can even use it for highlighters or even for your bronzers. Like if you want to do like some, you know, like highlight in here or some like contouring here and here, go at it, use it as you wish. So I'm going to open this up. I haven't opened it yet, but I've seen it in pictures and it's so pretty. Love the fact that it has a cap because I can literally, if I wanted to, I could just throw this into my purse along with a compact and then I'm good to go for the day, you know, for some quick touch-ups and stuff. But and it will the, the cap itself will also protect the bristles so you are supposed to keep the cap on when you no longer need to use it like once you're done using it for the day let's take a look at this oh oh it's pink oh, look how pretty that is what you want to see come to look at oh my good whoa look at that oh my gosh i love the two-tone okay come look how's it feel tell me how it feels Oh, it feels soft? Oh, it is really soft. Actually, it's really soft. So this is a vegan brush. It is synthetic fibers, but I love the two-tone of it. It's so beautiful. Oh my god. Oh wow. It is really, really, really soft. So I've had I've been using this brush for eons now. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you can definitely tell the difference. Like, I mean, I've always enjoyed this particular brush. It's prickly. Prickly? Mm. Oh, so which one do you like more? This one? Yeah. This one. Oh, this one. Okay, so Geneva votes for the Kabuki brush. So this one I usually use for my blush, and I or I'll use the stippling side of it. Um, but you can definitely feel the difference of it. Not that I don't love you, dual-ended mark brush. I do really love you. But this one is insanely soft. This one you do definitely feel a bit pricklier. This is, oh my goodness. Wow. It is really, really soft. It's like clouds kissing my face <laughs> beautiful okay i'm going to 
apply it with my my blush and so the dense bristles itself is supposed to be what helps to um give it more even application so you get less streaking <clears throat> or like i don't know unevenness so you swirl it in your product here comes up tap off the excess and then you apply oh ooh. you know what it even does my god i can't get over how soft this feels so wow you okay if you're doing foundation they say to do it in more of a circular motion oh 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 wow it's so soft and i feel like it's actually applying more product than my other brush before yeah here i'm gonna show you the difference so normally i use this one Can you see the difference? What's the difference, Moy? Um, that, that, um, this side? This side, is, this, this side is lighter and this side is darker. It's darker? Yeah, she's right. You can definitely see the difference of the Kabuki brush side versus the regular side here. I mean, this side done its job for however long I've had this brush for. Don't get me wrong. But this side, just the application of it really does look a lot smoother. And when you put it on, this one actually feels a little bit flimsier. Oh my gosh, you might have to retire. Although I've had you for ages. So it's about time for you to retire too. I've had to, I had this one for probably a good five years now. Five years? Yeah. That's oh my God. Wow, wow, wow. I can't get over how soft this brush is. So yeah, I definitely feel that this side, it's, it's definitely more vibrant. I'm going to take a look at my glasses one more time. I feel like it's almost like it's, it's a... It's a better application. I really like this brush. And so once you finish with it, all you do is you, there's like a little thing here. There's like that little ledge. You just pull it up. They'll pull the bristles in. You cap it. And then you're set for the day. Do you notice the difference with how it's products applied according to the tool? I definitely see a difference. Even though my glasses, I can see a difference. I hope it's registering through the camera. Wow. Wow. It's much more vibrant and it's more precise. Like this one, like I said, it felt a lot flimsier as opposed to this one. It had just just a little bit more of a precise application. And the fat is just a really pretty brush. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know by giving this video a big fat thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button as well as a little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. I do have new videos out every single week. You never want to miss one of those. Uh, if you want to get one of these Kabuki brushes, I know they are a limited quantity. Make sure you do go to my e-store link down in the description box below where you can find it and have it shipped directly to your home anywhere across Canada. And while you're at that link, why not check out that Join Avon button? Did you know you could take your passion for makeup, beauty, fashion, and turn it into a paycheck? If you have any questions, jump over to my Facebook page, Passions to Paycheck with Jessica Yick, and see if any of those posts answer any of your questions. Once you're there, you can also send me a message where we can have a quick chat to see whether or not an Avon online business is the right fit for you so that you can take that passion for makeup and beauty and turn it into a paycheck. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!